Welcome to today's video, and today's video is going to be a very important one, so make sure to stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be latest on the latest of Game of Thrones content for Legends. Um, today we're going to talk about the fire team. Fire team is very important. Um, this is generally used in the Targaryen faction. Um, when you're using synergy, if you look at the top right, you will see what they are a part of and what they will give. And the Targaryens here, uh, three to five members on the team gives you the fire bonus. So if you're running three, the fire does 40% more damage against enemies. Four, you get 50%. And then if you go all five, it's 60% more damage. Now, what is fire? Fire is a debuff, which is a damage over time effect that stacks up to five times so you can have five fires per enemy and it will do burn damage each turn to the team which is quite effective over time so you want to do that so let's go through the characters that inflict fire in the targaryen faction the first guy i want to do is not in the targaryen faction but you can get him free to play in the purple summons. That is Beric. Beric has a nice ability here, which he will do fire damage, which is okay. Um, but he will have a 40% chance to inflict two fire on all targets hit. It's a normal speed ability, but Beric you could get free to play if you save those, those tokens to summon and um you can inflict two fire so let me tell you about something with this 40 percent chance whenever you get these 40 percent chance on all targets it's not a flat 40 percent chance it's a 40 percent chance each roll so if you have five enemies you're doing 10 rolls and each roll has a 40 percent chance so some enemies will get zero some will get one and some will get two fire so let's get that out of the way first. Um, I don't know why they decided to do it that way other than the direct one, but that is that. So Beric is a good fire guy to have on your team. He also can taunt and be revived, which is very good. He is not in the Targaryen faction, but he is useful. Let's go to the Targaryens. Let's go ahead and filter out to the Targaryens. And I will go through some of the most important guys so you have viserys which is another legendary and he does something similar to barrack so it's a 40 percent chance to inflict two fire on them which is very good but notice the stamina speed it's fast which means you're going to do this a lot so you're going to inflict a lot of fire he will inflict fire upon himself and he does do the 41% attack damage to all enemies, which is good. But it's a fast ability where you want to get those fires down fast. So that damage over time stacks and it really takes a toll. So that's very good. Um, he gets buffs with fire. And um, yeah, when one of the allies are defeated, him and his Targaryens get 15 attack for three turns. Solid. That's pretty solid. So uh, he is definitely a good option in there. This is an option you're going to get for playing the egg event over time. You're going to get Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra right now has a great ability for fire. Um, it is on the slow speed, but you could get it off. Um, you'll do 75% fire damage to all enemies. So it's an AoE, so which is good with a 50% chance to remove a buff from them. All enemies are afflicted with one fire, that's guaranteed. It's bugged right now, so not everyone is taking the fire, but it will be fixed. And then when you have a buff removed on a character, it's gonna inflict them with three fire. Remember, the max is five. So that is what you're gonna get at there. Uh, she also has a very good leadership ability. When an enemy is defeated, Rhaenyra creates one random power-up, uh, so that's great for the egg event to blast out lots of enemies. And when she has a when she receives a buff, she gets a power-up. Um, she is in the Targaryen tribe, so she will get the 
bonus uh, fire damage. So she's a good enabler. Um, now, let's go on to the last legendary, which is Daenerys. Now, Daenerys is going to be your bread and butter, and she's going to benefit the most from fire. Because on her special ability, which is a fast stamina speed, which is very good. So she does 59% fire damage to all enemies, and they get and every enemy that's marked with fire, there's a bonus 54% attack fire damage for each fire they get. So if you stack five, you're getting over 250 or 270% bonus fire damage aoe and this skill can get upgraded so you're going to do lots of fire unleash daenerys's move and you're good to go there um she whenever there's a critical strike with dracars um the target's fire resistance is decreased and she gains stamina that's wonderful um her leadership ability isn't great but she's there mostly to pump out damage. Now let's talk about the epics and the uh, commons. So um, the maester and the mender, you could both get them from the egg event summon. So over time, you will get them. This is why this is a relevant team and a good team to build. Let's talk about the maester. So the maester's ability, he has a normal speed. <clears throat> Most of the healers have a slow to very slow speed for their abilities he heals all allies for 16 percent attack and then he can remove a debuff from each ally so viserys gives himself fire um the maester can remove the fire if you want to go that route so that's a good thing right there uh good healing and what's great is when he critically heals he has a 58% chance to inflict each enemy with three fire. Okay, so remember, that's three separate rolls per character at 58% chance. Very high upside right there when he heals critically. Let's look at his stats. His critical strike chance is 40%, so I'm assuming that's a 40% chance you're going to critically heal, if that's correct. Great character to have on the fire team and he provides the bonus now we have the dragonstone maester of arms um right here nothing super special but each strike has a 30 percent chance to inflict two fire so okay he's not that great but you have a little pump right there and um you can reduce fire resistance on people he's not that special i wouldn't really recommend him for the team um here is your go-to guy for taunting. You're going to get a lot of shards of him, the Dragonstone Elite. Um, his move will do fire damage, two strikes with a bonus 25% crit chance. If you look at his base stats, he has a 35% critical strike chance. So that increases up to 60% two times. And guess what? If he critically does damage, critical damage, he will taunt for three turns. But he will give 90% chance to inflict all enemies with one fire. So he's a great enabler for the fire. So don't overlook him. And then obviously you have another really great character. You're going to get a lot of shards are the Mender. The Mender has a slow heal. Okay, so he heals for 6.1% of their max HP. Nothing super special, but he's a healer, and he's blue, which it'll be good for a color to run. But what's really nice about the Mender is any time an enemy is afflicted with fire, the Mender has a 40% chance to apply an additional fire. So he's just going to keep fueling it, so this team is sick. It's going to have lots of fire. You're going to do damage over time to burn your opponents. And then you're going to bring Daenerys in with five fires, hopefully on everyone. And then you're going to just unload for a super insane amount of damage. Um, right now in the summons, Daenerys is available. If you are new to play, 
Uh, she is in the welcome summons, and you do get a special shard package for a very cheap price to get her unlocked. And as you can see right here in the violet summon, you have Barrack, which we talked about before. So if you save those up, you could get him for free, essentially, down the road. It might take time, but you will get him down the road. <clears throat> this is a great team to build. I highly recommend it. Um, and you could get most of these characters in the dragon event, which will happen every two weeks if it keeps going according to schedule. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.